Hello, talented souls. Happy day, happy week, happy life. Welcome, welcome back. I am Luna and I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. That means do what you love. And I will show you who is doing what she loves. Look at the house, it's a gorgeous house. Look at the garden. Isn't that love? Look at how beautiful, you know, that person there is working on their garden. It's gorgeous, no? That's love. I'm sure they spend like one, I mean, every day time, you know, working on that garden to keep it looking like this. That's joy. That's true joy. I love it. <laughs> okay. Happy Lunar New Year, my dear Chinese colleagues, friends, humans in this planet, to everyone. Happy New Lunar uh, you know, the year of the dragon. How, how, that, that's a gorgeous energy. The year of the dragon. And it's, um, it's I think it's the wood uh, dragon. So it's a dragon that is fire, but it's earth. <laughs> that's how I see it. <laughs> so happy, happy, happy lunar new year. And uh, two days ago, it was also, I oh, know yesterday, it was the, also the new moon. So I feel that it is a new i mean there was a, someone that was looking on internet that she was talking about uh, I, I would put the link to the video i forgot uh, i forgot her name i'm bad remembering names i'm honestly bad remembering names visually i remember everything but names i'm bad with names and she uh, she was talking about you know in the ancient times you know there was a calendar there was a, a moon calendar in reality that, uh, you know, we are far more influenced apparently by the moon than by the sun. So in the past, there should have been 13 months instead of 12 months. That's a very interesting theory. I am not, you know, someone that, you know, has spent, you know, many hours studying astrology. I'm not an astrologer, um, but I love Pam Gregory. I strongly recommend Pam Gregory her videos are amazing she's kind of my teacher right now because she talks a lot about astrology and she's so grounded oh my god that woman that woman is an earth angel 100 percent. so pam gregory thank you for doing what you love okay the story about how she came into astrology is fascinating she always brings very talented people to her uh, you know pod it's kind of a format of a podcast and uh, i have learned a lot so i strongly recommend her but today, you know, with a new year, with a new lunar year, and with a new moon, so we are going to talk about manifestations. For me, the moon represents the energy of manifestation. I, I believe, well, moon rituals have been far, I mean, if you, if you, if you look at any, let's say, ritual in any culture, it is always connected to the moon, okay? So I'm going to do a new moon, new year reading and tap into the energy of what you are manifesting for this new lunar year and the new moon, okay? So what new is coming into your life? What new are you manifesting? And because the water is so, uh, the river is overflowing today, which typically happens, sometimes it's connected with the moon as well, no? The cycle of the water. This overwhelming water here, and this river really, really flowing today, it gives me a lot of vibes of, you know, things clearing up. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. I, so I am so thankful to all of you for being here, for the comments, for the likes, for the share. I'm truly thankful to all my patrons, to um, to the love, the support. I also wanted to comment something very, very important. You have to pay attention, you know, to 
I mean, be very conscious about the readings that you listen to because those readings, you know, either we like it, or we don't like it. Sometimes the program, uh, you know, the reset, the reset of our mind. So it's very important that you choose the right people and the right energy for you. Okay, that's what I'm going to say. That's a message that it has been coming for the whole week about, you know, choosing very well who are you going to listen in YouTube. Especially with tarot reader, rather tarot readers, uh, because your thoughts create your reality. Okay, and if I plant, if I can plant a thought into your mind, you can create that reality. So that doesn't mean that I have any power over you. No one has a power over you. It is we are, you know, we do what I mean. It's our choice, but it is important that we listen to the people that we trust follow your intuition with that okay because the whole idea of you know of us doing this service in my case is truly 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 to align you with your purpose i mean that's my goal that's my ultimate goal so i only talk about things that align to your purpose and that's my intention but um it is important that the vibration and the energy of the person that you listen is very high i'm going to say that you need to choose readers that the vibration is high. Do not settle for anything lower than that, okay? Because you deserve it all. You deserve an amazing, amazing life, okay? <laughs> and you are going to create an amazing life. It's up to you. So start choosing today how you're going to create that amazing life. Okay, I'm very prescriptive today. I'm kind of, you know, serious in this topic. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying the flow of this river because, it, again, it gives me the vibe that everything is, you know, is releasing, it's moving, it's healing. I love you so much. Thank you for listening. I will show you the piles. And I cannot wait. And I also want to say that there is a very important a new uh, a manifestation that is coming into birth for me that I'm going to give to you very very soon and uh, I also want to have, before I go I also want to recommend Aura you have a discount the link is below Aura is amazing there is you have to follow Tina Jones that's of the highest vibration too Tina Jones I love you and uh, yes and I wanted to say that I cannot wait uh, I love the energy of a new lunar year. I love the energy of the dragons. And let's all become dragons today. I cannot wait for the reading. Love you. See you in your reading. Bye bye. Hello, talented souls. Happy day, happy week, happy life. Hope you're doing amazing. Welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. I have decided to repeat the setting because I cannot let go of this purple. <laughs> And it says still a few days more for you to use the code for Rose Forever, these gorgeous roses that, you know, last for a year and they cheer me up so much. They smell amazing. And uh, go to the, I mean, they are not sponsoring this video, but I couldn't let them go. And uh, if you use the code LUNA40, you can get 40 US dollars discount in your order and free shipping internationally with the code INFLUENCER. So go and get your flowers for your loved ones, even for your mom, your sister, your neighbor, okay? Make them happy. These are gorgeous. I have the pink ones, I have the red ones, and now I have the purple ones. Okay, so saying that, today's topic is Happy New Lunar Year. To my dear dragons out there, Happy New Lunar Year. <laughs> uh, it is the year of the dragon. And for everyone that celebrates, you know, the new lunar year, uh, happy new year, I'm celebrating with you. So it is a new lunar year in the calendar, in the Chinese world, and in any, any world, okay? We all share these traditions. When it is about celebration, we all want to celebrate. I want to celebrate, okay? <laughs> so it's a new lunar year. And... Um, and I thought, why don't I do a prediction for the new lunar year? Essentially, okay? New lunar year, also it was the new moon uh, on Friday. Today is Saturday. I'm posting this tomorrow, 11, uh, which is Sunday or 11 of February. And why not? 
What are you manifesting in this new lunar year? Okay? And with that energy of the new moon, is amazing, no? So we have three options to choose. We have option number one is the clear quartz, triple clear quartz, bracelet. I love one. This is my one of my favorites. I mean, it's the one that I sell the most and it's the one that, uh, you know, like I, one of my favorites. Three clear quartz is very nice. And your tarot deck is the uh, star child second edition tarot deck. Strength, look at that. <laughs> I love this deck. Last week I did the first edition. No, the second edition. This is the first edition, what I'm saying. This is the first edition. Strength for a pile number one. And this is number 11 here. Beautiful. This bracelet, as you know, they will be charged with the energy of the reading and available on my Etsy shop on the listing and the timestamps. First come, first serve. And uh, I love to do this. I love to charge, you know, items just as a souvenirs for the reading, no? It's beautiful. This is amethyst, raw amethyst, with three amethyst here and three amethyst here. Gorgeous. And this is one of my new decks that I haven't used it that often. And it's the Mystical Dream Tarot. It's kind of new. Wow, look at this. The dreamer, the dream angel. This is card number uh, 17. This is the star card. Look at this. It's the dream angel. Wow. I'm no wonder, you know, it's very connected with the energy of the amethyst, you know. This, the, you know, the, the sky. I don't know. What a beautiful card, no? There is a turtle. Very unique star card. Very unique. Okay, so it's the dream angel number 17. And the amethyst and this deck. Beautiful. Option number three is rose quartz. Again, three rose quartz. We have three, three here, and plus one in the middle is a seven, and three here. So there's a theme of three here. And today I use my new ring, which is three heart. I love this ring. And I did my nails green, just to match the ring. <laughs> Honestly. I mean, look, I love green nails as well. I mean... Sorry, it's a little bit dirty because I was, uh, you know, doing the cleaning of, with my Palo Santo. <laughs> okay, scene. The theme is three. Okay. Three blessings this new lunar year. Okay, this is your bracelet and your tarot deck is the Ethereal Visions tarot deck. Knight of Wands. Yes. I like the Knight of Wands because it's fast. <laughs> I love this energy. I love fast energy. Okay. Wow. Okay. It, and I put three things, three crystals here and three crystals here. This is weird. And three, which is the roses, the two candles, the three items. Three items here, three items here. Oh, wow. I'm into the Tesla frequency for this reading. <laughs> three, six, nine. Wow. Yeah. Okay. New lunar year. The deer of the dragon, what are you, what is going to happen? What are you going to manifest? What is coming? I cannot wait. Namaste. See you in your reading. Hello, talented souls. If you skip the intro, okay, this is the theme of three, okay? And I was saying three, six, uh, nine, because the Tesla frequency. And then I remember that this is 24 roses, which is six, which is this year. Okay, topic for today, as you, if you haven't heard, is what is the new lunar year, you know, bringing to you? All that we need to know about this new, new lunar year. Three, clear quartz bracelet, charged with the energy of this reading and available on my Etsy shop. The listing is on the time stamp. Okay, let's shuffle this with your energy. And then let's put the oracle cards. This purple. Okay, so rose forever. I mean, these purple roses, they bring me such a high vibe. Such a high vibe. They're amazing. Okay, no, that many. Okay, one. I'm going to put all the pile here so I will. Okay. This will be message for the end. I have 
have a, I have several decks of um, moon decks because it's new lunar year, so it's new moon year basically. And I thought I should put more moon decks. No, this is the runes. This is the kids of the Major Arcanas. I love this deck. <laughs> Sophie Mackey, she's amazing. This is numbers or signs. I'm going to put two cards for this, for the end. Those I use typically as con final confirmation. Opa! Another Monology deck for confirmation. And... This deck, which is the stars deck, star, uh, how is called this one? The temple, star temple oracles. Okay, that's perfect. So this one is going to be at the end too. No, it's going to be here because I want six. I want six cards to match the energy of the reading is six. Then we clarify with the tarot and we put this one to the end. Okay, we put this one to the end. And before we, we kick off, I want to have this, this box near me because one is the next generation tarot, which is this one. And then the painted runes is this one. And sometimes I don't know the meaning of all of them. These are my absolutely favorite cards. And I haven't been the title day for a while, so I need to I need to get it as soon as possible. <laughs> okay. What are you manifesting this new lunar year starting now? Say cycle, honor your faces. Wow. You're going to do a lot of, you know, this is the year of the dragon, and these moons are red moons, which remind me the red dragon. The dragon's always, you know. This is very connected to the Asian culture. Probably you live in, in Asia. Probably you live in Asia or you always have some connection with Asia. And I'm getting this lot of flower. You're someone that this year, if you are if you don't live there, this year you are really planning to travel there. And there is some connection there with the culture so, so much. I'm getting that. But this is a number three card. Look at this. Number three. This is a reading that... You know, the three is coming everywhere, which is the number of the Empress. It's the number of this creative energy, the energy of the creation. You are going to work this year a lot with the moon energy, okay? Obviously, it's a new lunar year. You know how to work with the energy of the moon. This is the first card here telling you that what you have, the work that you have done with the moon cycles is going to pay off. And whatever you have done, rituals, etc., that you do with the moon this year, everything is going to help. The water rituals, the candle rit rituals, um, feathers, whatever. Pay, put a special effort on doing rituals within the moon. That's the first thing I advise. Easter, wow, it's my favorite. This is one. This is one of my. This is my favorite one. So number five. You know why? Because Easter, Easter is the Sumerian culture. The Sumerian, from the time of the Sumerians. And Easter was the goddess of love and war. Became after Easter, became later on in the Roman time, Aphrodite, the goddess of love. And it's also an, a spin off of um, uh, Aphrodite, and it's an, a spin off of another goddess, which I don't remember. I think it's Isis. Hmm? She's the goddess of love and war. Okay? The, this, this Ishtar also is the energy. Well, for me, I read a book about Ishtar. Okay? I read a book about Ishtar. And Ishtar was a goddess that can convince anyone. That's why she has communion here. She could get anyone helping her. She was amazing at communication, amazing at, pers at persuasion, amazing and getting the thing done in her way. Okay? And she was the god of love. So basically, she was someone that, uh, you know, uh, a lot of, uh, well, connected with the moon, a lot of the, her manifestations were coming from the energy of the sacral chakra or, and the solar presence chakra. 
You see, she has the sun on the back and all these bones in her uh, and the keys, the bones and the keys in her neck. Talk about, you know, like, uh, well, I mean, her conquers basically. This is a, this is a goddess that, you know, the war and love, you know, like the two sides of the, you know, the dark side and the, and the light side, no? So she was, um, <laughs> she was a goddess of, you know, it's my way or no way, okay? <laughs> Number five, big changes. You are in your own power. You are embodying energy of authority. You are embodying energy of communication, the energy of creation, the energy of transformation, you are embody this powerhouse energy, okay? Also, you're very connected with the Egyptian times and the Sumerian times. Maybe you're reading as well stories about them, okay? Number 15, Electra, the Awakener. 15 is the, is the card of the Devil card, but this is a six as well. We have the three, five, and six. Rise out of the ashes, I rise like a golden sun. Exactly. This is what I'm trying to tell you. She is she is energy, sun energy, and we we here again we have the golden sun and the cosmos and someone that looks like a warrior because she's wearing a sword. So these two goddesses are goddesses of war. Okay? But at the same time are goddesses of sun energy, meaning transformation, meaning you know, like no one is going to mess up with them. I'm going to read Electra because I don't know what they want to say about Electra in this particular deck. But, but this is what we are uh, facing here. Two goddess, okay, that are connected with the sun energy. And this is the moon cycle, sun, moon and sun, the moon and the sun and the balance between the cosmos and you. 15 also is the Capricorn card because it reminds me of the, um, the, the devil, no? Rebirth. No, sorry, sorry, it's not that one. Rise from the ashes. Yes, no one is going to recognize you, okay? This is a year where you are coming in your power, I'm telling you. This is a year where you are, you are becoming no strong, what follows a strong. And again, it is your way or no way. And these are all the bones of the people that you will kill on the way. Not, not I mean, like, don't tell me wrong. Like, the things that you're going to remove, the obstacles you're going to remove are going to be your trophies. Because you will be focused on, you know, on bringing this energy into this planet. Okay? The energy of conquering, the energy of power, the energy of determination, the energy of... You know, it is, as I said, it is my way or no way. Or the highway. <laughs> okay, the Awakener. Electra appears to those who have been on a slippery slope of self-sabotage only to awaken, rise out of the ashes, soar into the stars and ascend like the golden sun. Easter for me is the golden sun as well. The university of life has taught you a lot and you might even hit rock bottom. But your soul growth has been accelerated due to the hard-hitting knocks and tough life lessons you have experienced in the past. Surrender any regret with self-compassion and know that you are back on your higher, happier and golden pathway. Stronger and wiser, your soldier, <laughs> you soldier on with confidence. Exactly. And these bones are the lessons that you have learned. And the key is in those lessons. The sword is in, the power of the sword is in those lessons. I love the energy of this. Wow, look at more sun energy. And Zeus, let's check on this rune. But look, this is sun energy, 150%. This is power, this is fire. It is a, it is a dragon, the dragon is fire. You are embody this power, power, power energy. Honestly, it's so much energy of power. So much energy of power. It's gorgeous. I mean, this is probably the most fiery uh, rune ever. It's a messenger rune. This one is a messenger rune. Maybe you want to draw this symbol in your hand. I normally do that on my hands. 
receiving messages of all kinds are associated with this rune. Yes, I talk about communication, no? Very good. Um, and some way the god Loki, uh, with this rune, and some way the god Loki is also at work through it. In which case, expect and expected the five here. There is a new life unfolding, a lot of new ideas, a surge of creativity. Be aware of receiving inspiration in unconventional sources, from unconventional sources, and stay open to possibilities. Also be aware of the message you are telling yourself and therefore putting out into the world. Our own actions can create our outcomes. There is a strong link to source, energy, visions, and insight. This is exactly what I was saying in my intro. If you skip the intro, go back. Um, I was telling about that. Pay attention to what you're going, you're listening. Tarot Association, the page of source communication, the Knight of Wands action, Wheel of Fortune transformation, lack. Eight of Wands, fast, 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 fast energy, and the High Priestess. Wow. You are embody. Well, I love this year for you. Adversity, I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. It's exactly what I was talking about, the bonds here. You will use these bonds and your lessons learned and use them as a key. The adversity has become your strength. Adversity became your strength. And the last one, the fated child. <laughs> more fire. Fire sign is very significant here. This is more fire, okay? The fated child, I will guess. But I think it is the child between the Empress and the Emperor. And that means that you're giving birth to everything. Everything you dream of. And if not, it's the star card and the world card. I don't know. <laughs> I'm guessing. I don't remember. Ah, the Empress and the Emperor, I tell you. I'm the fool. Empress, Emperor and the fool. New life. New you. Power you. The goddess. It doesn't matter gender. Power you. Okay? Lessons learned. Adversity transmuted into power. Okay? Speed. Speed. Everything is going to happen fast. Some things are just meant to be. Stay open to fate encounters and situations. The Wheel of Fortune, huh? And situations. And keep everything as light as possible. Connect with your favorite story from childhood. And reread it from some fresh insight. I will say that the story that I remember right now is the, the Little Prince. The Little Prince. The Principito. Read that book. Okay? I will read that one. Don't have... Incorporate your own interpretation of the Empress and the Emperor and fool into whatever comes up. <laughs> oh, mamma mia. Power, 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 power. That's this reading about. You are experiencing power. Power. Let's put the tarot. These cards are difficult to take out. At the bottom, page, page, action, action, action. Feeling fresh, feeling like a teen again. Feeling like a teen again. I love it. You may have a dog. A dog is very loyal to you. You're someone that is very connected with the animal, some of the animal kingdom, some of you. The devil, of course. This is the card of the devil. Oppression. Look at how this devil is expressed in this card, no? Like a ghost from the past. It's like a ghost from the past. And it kind of, you know, cannot touch you anymore. O sea, this experience cannot touch you anymore because you are, I mean, the past is disappearing. That's the energy I'm getting. So you are now, you are now being, re, I mean, like you, your soul is going to be lifted up by all the elements that surround you, by the sun, the earth, the feathers, the air, the crystals. I mean, it's like, you're being lifted out of this. And why is a ghost? Because this is this is not you. Okay? I mean, the, the, the old version of you is disappearing. Disappearing. No wonder it comes as a first card. It's disappearing. And you're being lifted. 
and the ghost is going to be ghost, you know, gone. Wow, the death card. I mean, two Major Arcanas, powerful Major Arcanas. Look at this death card. The door opening, no? So the ghost, the ghost is being lifted. It's being let go. The ghost, which represents your past, is being lifted from your body and let go. And you are offered a new life, a new opportunity. That door open. You're ready to walk through that door. Two Major Arcana. Big, big year, eh? Big, big year. <gasps> Wow, this is the star seed card in this deck, and this is the full card. And you know what that means? Alchemy means reborn in your essence, the essence of the star seed. You are in a star seed, eh? Wow, you, you're being reborn. I mean, I cannot tell you how clean is this message. From oppression, from a ghost that is disappearing, it's called oppression here, it's a ghost, to a, to a door that opens in this transformation energy, the five, which is the change, for you to be reborn as your true self. And I don't mean that you didn't, you were not you before. What I mean is this is the evolved you. And yes, some people, when they evolve, they become new. Meaning, you look at them, the hair has changed, the, even the eye color can change, the face change, the energy change, everything change. That's going to happen for you in this new lunar year. Kick off this time. I cannot believe how clean is this message. The, mama mia! Un, dos, tres, cuatro. Four Major Arcanas in a row. And this is a number three. You will see the earth from a distance. I'm telling you. You will see earth from a distance. Meaning, you will see your experiences from a distance. This is someone that is in the planet Mars. That's how I see it. <laughs> Mars is the ruler of Aries. And Mars is the ruler of communication. I oh, know Mercury is communication. Mars is the, I think it's the first house, no? Okay, how do I not know these things? Okay, you have to wait for me because I need to know this. Mars. Let me see if I have any any place. No, where, where I have Mars? Mars. Okay, I need to know this. Okay, give me one second. I have a book here. Mars. You're looking at Earth from Mars. What that means? Let's check here. Mars. Shadow. <gasps> Mars. Orbital period 687 days. Length in on time in a sign approximately 1.5 months. Yes, that's fast, 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 fast. 1.5 months, imagine. Retrograde approximately every two years. It's never retrograde. It's always propelling. To son, to tone of these uh, pieces confronted sharp, dissing, and stark. There are many stems. I want something shorter to read. Key terms. Action, conquest, violence, competition, source, self-defense, force, bravery. Everything that we're talking about here. Is after the god of war. The goddess of war. The conquest. The sexual force. Sacred chakra, solar pressure chakra. Domination, action, determination. Mars, Luz, Aries, and Scorpio. This is the card of Scorpio. This is the card of Capricorn. Okay? Um, Mars reflects to us our styles of combat and how we contend with conflict. Our tempers. Chosen to be a weapon, a sense of powerful embodiment, derived from our natal Mars. So check where you have Mars. Uh, okay, I love this. <laughs> Mantra. 
From my chest radiates flame. I am my own warrior. Oh. You're looking at air from Mars, meaning you're looking at air from a, from a feeling that I have conquered Earth. You know what I mean? I have conquered earth. I have conquered earth. I have conquered human misery and human condition. You have done this. This is a ghost and you are detaching from earth, detaching from everything. You are detaching in the most evolved way. You are detaching to become... Oh, it's gorgeous. Mamma mia, the Queen of Cups. Oh my god. Look at look at this kingdom. Queen of Cups. And we have two cups and two twins here, which is reflecting the old and the new. The past and the new you. Integrating through water. Integrating through intuition. You are you're evolving your you're evolving your soul. I mean, is is that's the summary here. And you are becoming an empress and an emperor because of that. What a year, eh? <gasps> the victory, six of ones. Victory on earth. Victory on earth. Because this is listen. From all these cars that are very much into the heavens, no? They operate. These, these cars are kind of, you know, uh, no earthy, no? In, in, a, in a good way. They're not earthy. This one looks, this one maybe look like someone, you know, in, in kind of in between planet, no? This one in between planet. But this one is a more earthy one. You're walking this earth with victory. And this is a more kind of, you know, closer representation to a human body in this earth no where this one is a star sea this one it look like someone in mars this one is in another planet this one is something so real this is real everything that i have expresses express about what's going to happen to you translate into this earth as victory as the empress and the emperor And the only minor, minor arcanas in these readings are these two. Okay? And it's a queen and the six of wands. Wow. Okay. This reading is very long. I love it. <laughs> okay. First quarter moon in Pisces. Honor your feelings, clearly. Cycles. Respect your cycles. Work with the cycles of the moon. Pisces may be significant. Queen of Cups also could be a water sign. Like Pisces. Just a confirmation for some of you. Wow. Six. This is a reconfirmation of the six of ones. Extra luck. Gemini. Two cups here. Air sign. As above, so below. The, 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 for me, the Gemini card here... Is kind of representing this idea of you integrating, you know, you evolving, no? Your two paths, the dark path and the light path, you know, united in one. The door that is open for union, evolution of the soul. Beautiful. I love that card of Gemini, eh? It's beautiful. And the last one, breathe. Inhale, exhale, create a space within. Okay, I recommend to you to check on my Aura link. They give you a free trial and a discount as well. And uh, Aura, Aura has some breathing uh, meditation that are amazing. We have two cards of meditation here. I recommend that to you, but I mean, I don't need to recommend that because you're already doing that. I'm just saying that that is working. Okay, that is very much working. Wow. What a beautiful reading. I love to do this, you know. I love this, doing this. <laughs> okay, if you enjoy the reading and you want to support my channel, you can purchase this, charge with the energy of this reading, and I'm going to put it in Ishtar because it's one of my favorite goddess. Okay, first come, first serve. And uh, thank you so much. 
Also, you can check on Rose Forever if you want to give flowers. That will also help me. If you check on my Etsy shop, that will also help me. Uh, thank you for the donations. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the love. Thank you to become a patron. I would love to have a patron. Uh, I do additional pick a card readings. I have been taking a little bit of a pause. And my dear patron has been waiting for me because they love me so, so much. And I love them back. I mean, they're always in my thought. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to do uh, this this month. You know, I'm saying this because some of you maybe are my patrons already. I will be back, more powerful and stronger than before. <laughs> like Easter. Okay, I love you so much. Till the next time. Have an amazing day, an amazing week, an amazing life. Thank you. Hello, talented souls. Happy day, happy week, happy life. Hope you're doing amazing. Thank you so much for being here. You have chosen... The amethyst, three amethyst here, three amethyst here, plus one, seven. <laughs> this will be charged with the energy of the reading and available on my Etsy shop. And I'm going to put it next to this heart, the ocean jasper heart. And you have chosen the dreamy, how is it called? The, no, the mystical dream tarot. It's a gorgeous deck. I haven't used it very often, so I should use it. A little bit more. It's very different. I like when Dex has their own author, you know, the author interpretation, and it's very different. I like that. Okay. What your prediction for, for this new lunar year? Okay. The year of the dragon. New lunar year predictions. Okay. That's how I should put the title. Because I was thinking, you know, how I'm going to call this this um, this reading and then okay this one won't you and then now I realize it's a new lunar year predictions okay the first one comes to you I'm going to put the first one I go this card then Moon card. I'm doing the shuffling because Francisco has a beautiful channel and he does all all on the time and I think he's right the energy change so why not why not okay one, one. the energy transmute when you are doing the ring so this one goes to the end and this monology to the end, and we're going to put like this, six cards here, six oracle cards here. Okay, so what are you manifesting in this new lunar year? The year of the dragon. Dagas! <laughs> okay, this feels like a new year, no? I mean, it's like that energy of the Titanic, no? In the top of the boat feeling fresh, feeling happy, 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 happy. Well, some of you may be manifesting love because thinking about the Titanic, I'm thinking about the Titanic with this, with this rune. <laughs> I, I see, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio and... Um, and uh, oh, I forgot the name of the actress. Yeah, she's so... Kate Blanchett. Wow. Let's check on Dragas. I'm not very familiar with all the rooms, so I'm going to check on Dragas. They all have an association with the with a tarot transformation, breakthrough. Yes, it feels like a breakthrough, like a finding something unique this year. Dragas is the final rune in direct at tier, perhaps the whole runic cycle, and in this sense, it's a huge important symbol of transformation and breakthrough. It, it it arouses a major shift in any given situation and for some will mean a radical change in lifestyle or attitude. I love this energy. Timing is an issue with Agas. If the timing is right, then everything will flow as it should. So if, if, if it is possible, choose your timings wisely. It could mean that you have come full cycle with something. This room symbolizes letting in the light after a dark night of uncertainty. Imagine yourself standing in a clear and beautiful dawn. That has required radical trust and can mark the beginning of a major period of positive 
and prosperity. Leap and the net will appear. Tarot Association is the world, the death, the fool and the sun. So this is an important rune because it's connected to all Major Arcanas. The world, the death, the fool and the sun. It's a new day, it's a new beginning, it's a feeling of fresh, it's a feeling of conquering, it's a feeling of the Titanic before the Titanic ends. And or, or, or for me, it means the feeling, that feeling like, um, don't think about the Titanic, like what happened after that, that image that I have in my mind about the Titanic. It's about that feeling of finding, the feeling of finding. The ghost child, wow. The ghost child, I think, is that these are the the kids of the Major Arcanas, and the ghost child, I will say, that is um, the hermit and someone else. I don't remember the hermit and the star, maybe. You're coming out of a period of, let's say, hiding. You're coming out from a period of hiding in the Titanic. You know, like uh, Kate Blanchett was like, you know restricted, you know, hidden, not, not, not coming out. And now you find something that inspires you, but not necessarily it's about someone else. It's about you finding in yourself inspiration. Okay, let's check on this. The ghost child, the death and the moon. Oh, wow. The death and the moon. Yes, the dark. You're coming out of the dark, honestly. The energy is very elusive and may mean the something or someone is ghosting you. Or you could be avoiding someone or something. What or who are you looking for? Yeah, this is a kind of... Reno I mean, looking for something, as I said. Fresh new day. Connect with hide and seek games and you that you might play as a child. Or reflect on your various teenage identities. You might be developing greater insight into a personal situation that may choose to watch and wait as things unfold. You may decide to let something go with your own interpretation of death and the moon into whatever comes up. Well, these two cards mean the death, okay? This one means also the fool, the new beginning. The moon is trusting your intuition. So you, for me, you have done or oh, this new year represent the ending of something very, very, very um, not aligned with your with yourself into twenty into twenty. I mean, till January, no, twenty twenty four, and becoming in. Fe I mean, ending February, okay, feeling like a Titanic moment, like a, a decision that changed your life forever, okay, and it's the sun energy that is guiding you towards this new beginning is coming out of the death and the moon to go into the light the world also means an ending and a rebirth wow focus yes you're very targeted you're very targeted towards your new life artemis the goddess of focus number four may be a significant number the death card is number 13 which is a four so we have four four and four Wow, the death card is a transformation. Four, you, you, you have a focus on the target. The good news about this is you know exactly what you want. That's very good. Wow, the, the shade the star, which is the, oh, look, I have all my nails in green because too much my ring. So green is a theme. <laughs> Surrender, I'm ready to let go with self-compassion. Yes, yes, you're ready? To let this dragon look, there is a dragon and a serpent on the back of your, your of on your back, because this is a this is a card that talks about you know giving your back to what doesn't serve you, giving your back to what doesn't serve you, and it's definitely connected with your heart. Your heart is healing. There is a big 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 uh, necklace here, it's landing on her heart. You're following your heart. For you know that what was in the past was not meant for you, okay? And your surrender five is a change. Your surrender into this transformation, this change, this ending, forever ending. Wow. Doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. 
you are controlling your doubt. The, here we're talking about the moon, no? The moon, we don't see very clear on the moon, no? Under the moonlight, we don't see very clear. That's the doubt. Never doubt your intuition. You are doing, you're taking the right steps and you don't need to know everything that is going to come after this. When Titanic, I mean, I'm skipping the Titanic, when they went into the top of the boat, they have no clue what was coming now. But they have the most significant moment in their entire life. So release that need to know what is coming. Be focused and detach from the outcome. Okay? But be focused in what you want and keep going in that direction. That's the advice here. Citrine. Oh, I love it. Number 32 again. 23 and 32 are significant numbers. Age. Also, uh, I mean, is as above, so below. That, that surrendering, surrendering and let go of the past involves that your future carry this, this citrine energy because we have 23 and, and the doubt is only the blocker here. Doubt is only a blocker between your past and your future. Your future is the citrine. Goal setting, abundance, positive energy. Exactly. This focus energy. Where you are going, I mean, this is this is happening for you. I mean, you don't need even to do it. This is happening. Everything that you doubt, everything that was hidden becomes known. You are clear about where you want to be. You are clear that the past doesn't serve you and you give your back. You let it go. You are clear that you don't need to know all the answers. You are clear that you need to walk towards this sun energy, towards this sun energy with the citron here. The citron ring also is in my shop. That energy gives you abundance, gives you positive energy. I mean, you, you are committed to your goals. And that is the guarantee of success and abundance. Okay? Wow. And you're following your intu intuition very strongly because also we have the amethyst here. You're leaving behind a connection in many cases. Ten of Cups. Wow. This is the outcome. The outcome of going in this direction is the Ten of Cups. Wow. Fulfillment. And look at how weird is this card. We have justice. We have fire. We have a, a, a portal. An air. Wow. Achieving of everything. Ace of Wands, yes. This new beginning, I mean, this new passion, this new future that your focus is and targeted towards that, and uh, it has forced you to leave things behind, is your destiny. Is what makes you happy. This is a new beginning. It's a new, new year, new life. New year, new life. Five of Wands. Conflict of, yeah, conflict between between who you were before. This is a boat, okay? This is a five of one that is very significant, very interesting because it's a boat that it has two people, okay? They're trying to fish, okay? And it's like a father and a, and a, and a daughter or a father and a son doing fishing. I see that happening. That maybe happened when you were a child. And you're always chasing abundance. This is a boat also where we are talking about the Titanic. So ships and sh shipping, ships may be significant in your life. Your father may be in the ship, in the marine industry, marine, maybe a marine. Or shipping industry or, you know, export, import. Asia is very significant as well. My feeling with this card is that you are outgrowing, you are growing, you grew up. It's the energy of you, you grew up, you don't need to, you don't need to follow, you know, the same patterns that others follow. You don't need to do what your family have done. You just need to be you. You felt always like a ghost child, like a child that was there just in the shadow. You didn't have a good, very good uh, 
a childhood, not all of you, some of you, okay? But what this, what, what, I mean, you may have been the most introvert in the family, the most, uh, you know, when you were a ch child, maybe you hide in the, in the wardrobe, you hide under the bed when the family came, etc., etc. If that is the case, I mean, you always felt like an stranger in your own, in your, with your own family. Okay. And what this is telling me is that that has teach you that experience allow you to develop your intuition, allow you to trust your intuition, allow you to trust your own steps. Mm, it's a very, very interesting message. Eh? Nine of Swords. Oh, wow. Yeah. You you left you left your family, you left the comfort, you left you left what doesn't serve you. You have left what doesn't serve you. And nine and five is fourteen, which is a five, which is again the change that we see here and five and five, another five change. This is someone that left. This is someone that uh, walked the path. Uh, no work by others, but this is someone that is protected because he has a cape, and this cape is like a, is like a, a little red riding hood. There is a lot of reference here it's about childhood. Okay, little red riding hood. She's ready to walk into the forest, but she was always protected. The fox never trapped her. You have felt lonely many, many times, okay? What I like about your reading is that you're leaving this behind. You have learned all of this. And what I'm telling you is not new. What I'm telling you is just as a message to confirm that that has given you in this life your focus. That has given you in this life your intuition. That has given you in this life knowing where to go. And there is abundance this year, there is abundance in these decisions. There is abundance in this move. The chariot, yes. Look at this. The Ace of Wands and the chariot. This is energy of fast moving energy of new beginnings. You have conquered your fears, you know. You are also protected by someone on the heavens. This again, this is a child and this is a grandma. You're protected by a grandmother, grandfather. You're protected by an ancestor. The, 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 you, you always connect with this ancestor. You always connect with this ancestor and this ancestor is always present, helping you to achieve your goals. The chariot always reach destination. The Ten of Wands. Someone or something was a burden. Someone or something was a burden to you. And even if you have, even if you have to leave that behind, you're not responsible for the things that you leave behind. The things or the people that you leave behind are responsible for their own destiny. You have left behind a father, you have left behind a, a husband, you have left behind a partner, you have left behind uh, people that, uh, you know, you didn't connect any longer. Okay? And that has, you know, that, uh, you know, that, that, the focus was to fulfill your destiny. The focus was to fulfill this abundance that you are, okay? Because the environment never let you feel good enough. The Hierophant, yes, the wisdom, the wisdom. Number five, again, I tell you, I told you about five. We have five of ones. We have the nine of swords plus the five that I said is another, uh, is another five. We have two tens of endings. And beginnings as well because it's one 
and the hero fan at the end. Okay, you you have evolved the concept of um, the, the the masculine inside of you is going to evolve so much. Like I'm thinking that if you're a female, you have evolved your masculine side so much. Even if you're a male, you have evolved your masculine side a lot. My point is here, you have learned the lessons and the, what is this year for you is wisdom, is determination, is focus, is abundance, is the ten of cups, is following your passion with the ace of wands, is the chariot which always read. But this getting here, which is starting right now, it took leaving behind a lot of things, okay? A lot of family feeling behind. But that is what meant to be, for this abundance to happen, for this access to happen, for this ten of cups to happen. Ten of cups to happen. Full moon in Aries, cool your emotions, yes. Don't be, don't put any anger towards these things that you're letting go, okay? Aries may be a significant time this year, Aries will be a very significant month, the month for uh, March and April. Maybe you are an Aries as well, that's a confirmation. The sun, I'm telling you, you're going towards the sun. The dag dagas is about the sun. You are going, and citrine is sun energy. Conscious mind, masculine and life force, I'm telling you. You are healing your masculine side. You are healing the action energy. You are healing... The, the, the determination, the life force, the action, the mind, your healing all that, you're going towards your abundance, your success, the sun. No one can stop someone to search for the sun. You know, if we didn't have a sun, you know, we cannot be we cannot be who we are. Okay? So the sun energy is extremely necessary for everything to grow. Two February. Yeah, this is a story of, you know, uh, of two. Some people, you're living behind some people, as I said. And this is two. This is this month. This is happening right now. And the last one, 11. Mamma mia, another two. Two and two, 22. You're mastering this. You're becoming a master of this. You are gaining wisdom, mastery, Okay. Uh, you have used this experience of feeling like a ghost, feeling abandoned, feeling no good enough, feeling that nothing, no one is coming to take care of you. I mean, no one is coming to help you. That doubt, I mean, everything that I am saying to you is going, is gone this month, number two, two, okay? Uh, your 11 also is a mastery number. You are aligning to your destiny and your destiny is abundance, okay? That's the focus. You are being carried over by your ancestors. Your destiny is the Ten of Cups and the Sun. Wow. What a reading, eh? That is, that is your prediction for the new lunar year 2024. Happy Dragons Year. <laughs> and if you enjoy the reading, you can uh, get this, charged with energy of this reading. I'm going to put it on the last because it's, come on, it's gorgeous. Uh, if you want the flowers, you have 40 US dollars discount for Valentine's. If you want to become a patron, all the links are below. Comments, I read every single comment. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. I would love to have you also in Patreon. Please subscribe. Give me a like. Everything. <laughs> Everything that you do, it helps this to grow. It helps this message to reach more people. And as I said on the intro, I am here to make sure that you connect with your purpose. Okay? And the more people that connect with the purpose, the more that we all benefit. Namaste to that. Have an amazing day, an amazing week, an amazing life. Love you. Bye-bye. Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen pile number three in this beautiful rose quartz bracelet with three rose quartz that is available on my shop and charged with energy of this rose quartz and the reading. <laughs> 
And you have chosen the ethereal, ethereal vision tarot. And we're going to answer the prediction for the new lunar year, the year of the dragon. It has been a very interesting reading. And uh, if you are, if you're loving these flowers, because I love this gift from Rose Forever New York, all my subscribers have a 40 US dollars discount with the code um, Luna40 and a free shipping international with the code Influencer. Okay, it will help my channel. You will help someone else, someone to be happy with these flowers. <laughs> these are 24 roses. I mean, the color is amazing, no? Mm -hmm. I love them. Okay, they're not meant to be today because I, it's the, the video is not sponsored by them, but it's just before uh, Valentine's and I'm posting this video on the 11th, so you still have time to use the code, okay? It is a special promotion for Valentine's. Okay. I love the feeling of a new year. Doesn't matter, you know, we always celebrate in the Western world. Uh, we celebrate, you know, the 31st of December, of course. But uh, why don't you have a new, two new years? <laughs> this is the lunar year anyway. So I love it. I put a lot of cards from the moon, moon decks. And uh, these predictions are, you know, prediction for the year starting now. With the new dragon, is the year of the dragon. Amazing. I'm a rabbit, I'm not a dragon, but if you're a dragon, happy birthday. <laughs> okay, so what is coming this year? Humor, oh wow, 49, maybe you're going to be 49 this year, or oh, you're born in 94. 13 is a four, life path four. Humor, wow, it's having fun, literally, uzume. This is an energy of really this year, and also look, it's very red because it's the color of the dragon. You're going to have so much fun this year. Joyful moment. Moment traveling. I see a lot of adventures. I see a lot of opportunity to meet new people. Energy of happiness. Energy of, you know, even I see some of you are taking a gap year, no? If you're young, I mean, you're taking a gap year. Some of you are going to, into adventures. Some of you are going to volunteer in abroad. This is a card of, you know, whatever you're going to do this year is going to be always with the energy of humor and fun. Wow, that's super nice. Next, change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. You will be in a, in really, really movement. So, I mean, I would say like probably more than 100 travels, okay? Even short distance, long distance, you name it. You're going to travel. You're going to live in a constant change. This is a year of moving. This is a year of moving. This is the energy I'm getting, you know? A flax. I'm getting the energy of flax, you know, different flags. Which which flag is orange and red? I don't know. Orange is a significant color, okay? Even you may have your hair color uh, red, uh, but it's a significant color. It's like uh, the red always, you know, when I used to have a red hair before. And when I had red hair, I was living in Mexico, which I'm not from Mexico. But this feeling, I get the feeling that enjoying, moving, you know, traveling, meeting new people. Maybe you're going to work as an au pair, you know, that kind of energy. Space. And if not that, then your work involves a lot of travel. Space. Oh, I love it. Hold a space for your difficult emotions. Number 10. Wow. When you feel like you're missing home, when you feel like, mm, did I make the right decision this year? Remember to focus in the inside and remember that the inside is craving for this change. Okay, you will never forget about this. This is a year for making a lot of memories, a lot of memories. I'm thinking in this guy that has a YouTube channel that is going to, to go to every single uh, country in the world. And it's beautiful. He's a, he's a young guy, but he's traveling, 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 non-stop, non-stop, non-stop for one year. Unbelievable. Then my ex-boss also is doing a travel around the world. 
I'm getting the energy. When you feel like you are, you know, there will be difficult situations. He's traveling, for example, he was in a, in a country that was very dangerous. I mean, in Africa, uh, he was in a country that uh, it was very dangerous, okay? So he couldn't show too much of his uh, telephone or his things. So he was a little bit scared. So there will be moments that you feel like, you know, it's, an, it's new culture, maybe the language, maybe different things. You hold a space inside of you and everything will be okay, okay? But if that is not the case, you are a reporter. You, you This is your job. Your job this year will take you places, okay? Your job will take you places. The huntress. Yeah. Hungry, hungry. I'm getting hungry for adventure. Hungry for exploration. Hungry for, for you know, hitting new, new things, knowing about new things. Hunting for them. The Pleiades light my quest to be wild and free. Free. Yeah, freedom. Wildness. Red hair. I told you about the red hair. That's that's the color that I had when I was in Mexico. It's a dark red. Listen. And the flower here reminds me of this flower here. There is no nice top. And there will be some days that you feel like, oh, I'm doing the right thing. You are. By December, you see? By December, you will feel like a new person after this, eh? And also she has like a red hair. Look at that, a dark red hair. Red hair is significant. Wow, more red. Cano. Wow. This is a this is a rune, I'm going to read it, but this give me the feeling of inner growing in this process, eh? Big, big inner growing. No, this is the this is this card. Each of these rooms represent a major arcana. Okay, here. Cano. Opening. Yeah. You're open, open, open to fire. You're open to adventure. That's the energy. Six of Wands, the sun and the chariot. Yeah. Victory. If this year is a year where you feel victory every time you change. You move your body. You understand? Okay. This room ha has a deeply passionate energy, which is signified in the image of fire lighting up the darkness. Look at all the red in the head. You're following your, your heart. Okay. You're following your heart, your ideas. There's a the divine connection between third eye, your heart, and your mind. Okay, things are opening for you, and you feel energized and determined, determined, ready to give and receive in equal measure. Kano speaks of our creative drive and literally throws warmth and clarity into our life. Make sure you are listening to what really matters to you and don't be rushed in decisions which might mean you are metaphorically throwing things onto the fire. 601, the sun and the chariot. Enjoy, enjoy this process. Because sometimes, some days, you will feel worried, okay, did I do the right thing? Yes. That's what I'm hearing. No body child, I love it. <laughs> this is the nomad. This is the nomad. This is about an experience of being a nomad okay or if you work this is experience of losing yourself in a good way i mean losing 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 relearning about who you are every time you move i see reporters i see anthropologists i see uh, people that for work has to be in different places minery as well i don't know or a gap year the year, you know, for a young person, you know, like, I, I will stop. Also, you can stop at 30, you can stop at 25. There is no age for stopping and having a gap year. You will feel like nobody's child. <laughs> you belong to nobody. I love that. I mean, it's freedom, eh? It's pure freedom. I'm going to read because these are the daughters and the, and the kids of the major arcanas. Okay. So, the novel is Justice and the World. 
justice and the world. Exactly. You're going to make justice to the world because you're going to exude energy of humor, energy of enjoyment, energy of passion, energy of you know freedom, wildness, the chariot, the sun, the change, the constant movement. Okay? That's justice to the world because you are igniting your light. You're connecting with your essence. You're becoming, you are exuding authenticity. There is freedom in anonymity. Exactly. You're going like, wherever you go, wherever you want to go, you will go. You don't need to shout or be the center of attention to get what you want or to be content in life. Neither do you need a lot of possessions or to be in, comp in competition with anyone else. Nobody child show us how to be comfortable in our own skin and remind us that we can be independent of other constraints and ideas. How did you experience freedom as a child? Work with the energy of justice and the world in your explorations of this card. Wow, this is such a clean, clear message for me. It's beautiful. That's the year of the dragon, what I can say. Dragon is fire. <laughs> Okay, the six of wands again. We said that this um, this room card represents the six of wands. This is a double confirmation. And this reading has all been about six. There are three here, three items here, three crystals here. The main the main thing that is a six because it's 24 and one, two, three. So there is sequence here of Tesla creation, the Tesla frequency. A six and the nine are equal number, no? Mm? If you mirror them, no? Page of cup, yeah. Yeah, adventure, 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 adventure. Just grabbing, just grabbing your own cup and going. You know, going in this adventure. Going, 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 going. More pages, yes. Energy, feeling young, feeling good. You know, you are, go you, you are determined this year. To feel passionate and fill your own cup. There is work here. Some a lot of you work on this, okay? Because there's a fish there, so that gives you money. The Queen of Wands. Wow, you are going to tell those stories. I mean, this is part of your work for some of you, as I said, and this is also something that maybe you will share in social media, like this guy that I'm telling you that has a channel about this. Okay? You will share those adventures, those stories, those if you're a reporter, if you are in minery, whatever you do, you're going to put yourself in the spotlight, meaning you're going to share this to the world. There is there is a recommendation here, a strong recommendation of you being seen by others publicly, okay, because of these adventures. Magician. The hunters and the magician. The play ladies lie my quest to be wild and free. You are going to make a living out of this adventure. You're going to be free, meaning you don't need a nine to five. That's what I'm getting here. You don't need a nine to five anymore. You are an independent. You are, maybe you create documentaries. You create, you go like wild for months in the middle of the Amazonas to film videos and then you post and then you're, you know, or, the, or this girl that I know, uh, she's so free. Um, uh, how's the name? Hitton, Joanna Hitton. Okay, she's amazing. So many, 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 many have made their passion into the abundance. Okay, that's what you're going to do. Seven of Wands. Be prepared because when you go to so many different places, there are things that you need to get to know, okay? There are things that you need to get to know. So I'm getting with these seven of wands that you will be ready for any obstacle. You are bigger than your obstacles. You see, you're bigger than the obstacles because you're standing here and the obstacles are down there, okay? You're bigger than your, any obstacle. You're ready. You're completely ready. And the nobody child with the moon. <laughs> the dreams. These are the dreams. Being free is your dream. Being living living the life that I mean living a life where you don't need to worry about who tell you what to do. 
is the dream life. This is what you're going to manifest this year. Wow. So clear, so beautiful. Very important to trust your intuition and very important to come out with what you find. Mm? Last quarter moon in a Scorpio, reveal what needs to be seen. Yeah, you're going to do, you're going to show publicly what you, are you finding in this adventure, okay? Reveal what needs to be seen. You're going to be seen and you're going to share these stories. Seven, significant number. We have seven, seven, and we saw in this rune the chariot. Seven, seven, seven. Okay? So seven, you may be your month of uh, Scorpio. You may be a Scorpio. You may be fire sign. You may be born in month of uh, seven, which is cancer as well. Cancer and... What is before cancer? July, June, July. What? Seven. Significant. Cancer. Yeah, cancer. Cancer. Double confirmation. Some of you are definitely cancer. Okay? Or you have the North Node in cancer. Or Venus in cancer. Or Rise in cancer. Cancer is very significant. The month... Also, not necessarily you are designed, but the month of July is very significant. Seven is very significant as a month. Caution, keep your guard up. Well, this card is very similar to this one. When you go and this one, hold a space for difficult emotions, the seven of wands and the difficult emotion. Caution. What means? Know everything. And everyone is going to be there to help, okay? This is a warning. That doesn't mean you're going to win always, okay? Because you are the queen of wands. You, you, you're going to be, you're the magician, you know? You have the victory twice. But there will be people that want to take advantage in these locations where you don't know people, you know? You know, sometimes, you know, you need to deal with those things. So always keep your guard up because obviously it's new territory, I'm going to put one more card for the guard up and for the seven of wands. You're the only one that is getting two more cards. Ace of swords. Yes. Yes. I'm getting, do not trust everyone because no, no one is as truthful as you are. Okay, that's what I'm getting. And then this is the true path. This is the true path for you. An ace. I love the ace of swords. This is what you need to feel today. And the last one, another ace. Yes. Go always with your truth. Okay? Go always with your truth. And if you walk with your truth, you will receive justice. You will receive, you know, the world. You will receive your dreams. You will be very successful at doing this. Okay? I love. And the king one. Wow. There is partnership here, eh? the queen and the king, just to finish. You cannot see there. I'm going to put it here. Balance also between the two energies. Okay, I love this. I love this because this is about you uh, really manifesting that freedom that you always dream, okay? Uh, doing what you love, discovering a lot of things, meeting so many people. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, there are people everywhere in these cars, except of this one. There is all, the rest is people. You will meet a lot of people, okay? You will feel why, you will feel, you will enjoy, you will learn. You will, it will be kind of, you know, a, an adventure of a lifetime. And Cancer or uh, month seven seems very significant. A Scorpio here is... Is coming with this truth. You need to share what you have learned. You need to share or make truthful a showcase of reality outside of our world. Imagine that you travel into a war zone or maybe imagine that you travel into the middle of the forest with a tribe. No? Your job is to come with this knowledge and put it out. That's what it's telling you. Okay? You need to come with this knowledge out. I love it. This reading has been amazing. 
Happy new, new Dragon Year, okay? New Lunar Year. If you enjoy the reading and you want to, to have this bracelet, will be available on my Etsy shop. Uh, and it's the, the, list, the link to the listing is under timestamps. I put it here with the Queen of Wands. Uh, and humor. No, let's put it with humor because this is the main card here. Uzume. <laughs> this may be significant letters in your name. And with that, also check on the on the discount for the flowers if you want flowers. Check on the Aura link if you want also meditations. I love Aura app. And uh, you help my channel as well. And also Aura has a free trial as well. You can try. Uh, the link is all in the description. description. Uh, and also, if you want to become a patron, I have additional pick a card readings in, in, you know, there. I love you. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. Please subscribe, comment, share. That's the most, you know, um, that's the first step. <laughs> have an amazing new lunar year. Thank you. Namaste. Bye-bye. Enjoy this year. Bye-bye.